One of the cool ways that we can help scientists help monarchs is to participate in their tagging program. Each year, about a quarter of a million monarch butterfly tags are sent out to people like you and me, and you can raise monarchs and then tag them and release them. So this video shows you how to tag a monarch butterfly. Step one in tagging a monarch butterfly is to write down the information first. Once you put this sticker on a butterfly and you think about releasing it, you're going to get excited and you might forget all about this. So record the information, the number on the tag, the date, the place, whether it's a male or a female, and whether you raised it yourself or whether you caught a wild monarch. Step two is actually applying the tag, and this is the part you probably wanted to start with. On the hind wing, there is a cell that looks kind of like the shape of a mitten, and that's where you want to put the tag. You want to touch the tag as little as possible, at least the adhesive part. So what I do is I kind of roll it off my sheet there, and I'm going to put that tag on right like that. I'm going to hold that down for about five seconds. To hold a butterfly, grab it right above the head and hold those wings together gently. There's a, sort of a ridge through there that reinforces that front edge of the wing. Uh, I'm not hurting it a bit. You don't want to touch the orange and uh, black part uh, very much because there are some scales on there that can rub off. So try to minimize how much you touch right there. Step three is the fun part. Release the butterfly. It's November the 11th, so this guy's friends are already, a lot of them down in Mexico. We want to give it as much chance as possible. It's a beautiful day with some southerly winds. So here we go. Off you go. You ready, bud? Off it goes. Step four is to actually send the information to monarchwatch.org. Don't forget about that part. Uh, they have an Excel data sheet that you can enter it into. There's a piece of paper you can just write it on and mail it in. Or uh, I was lucky enough to test an app. This is their uh, app that hopefully will be available to more people next year. And this makes it super easy. You just check off male, female, wild, reared. It automatically records the date and the location. And then you just write in the number and push submit data and you're good to go. Most of what we know about monarchs is due to people regular folks like us helping these scientists with our tags. When we record this information of where they were released and when they happen to find a monarch butterfly some other place, we can learn a lot about where they're going, how fast they travel, and all kinds of other factors. Now that you know how to do it, give it a try.